Hi, Julia. Hey, Tommy. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. Oh, this looks nice and fresh and new in here. Thank you. We've done a lot of work. Uh, one of the things that is next on our list to tackle is sitting right behind you. Ah, storage. Yes, so we have a lot of jackets and shoes and hats, and this is not the ideal situation for us. Okay, so we have a place to put it? We do, we built a closet right over here. Oh, nice new closet, okay. Yep, nice new. Oh, empty closet, that's even better. And it's a blank slate, so what we'd uh -huh. like to do is get some custom organization to get all of that into here. Well, by the size of that closet, I think we can get all of that and even a little more in there. That'd be great. Uh, do you have any plans or any ideas what you have? I do. I actually have a sketch for you. Oh, I love sketches. Let's all take right. a look at it. I'll go get it. Okay. All right. So this is your drawing. Yep. So what I was thinking was some cubbies on one side. Okay. So right here. Yep. Yep. And then I was thinking that two drawers down at the bottom would be really great for shoe storage so that's that we good can idea, slide it in drawers. and out. Yep. Yeah, I see so many closets where you can't get the stuff that's down the bottom. You get to fight your way. Exactly. I like the idea of the drawers there. Great. Yep. Um, and then, you know, just a regular coat rod and then some storage up top for items that we won't use. Okay. So on the cubbies, what do you see going into the cubbies? Do you know? So I was thinking probably hats and gloves. Um, my boyfriend and I both box, and so we would probably put our boxing gloves in there as well. Both box, Whoa. we do. <laughs> nah, I got to watch what I say to you. I don't want to get slugged. <laughs> and uh, the drawers. Maybe we would do one that's a little bit shorter, and then one a little taller for boots or something like that. Okay. All right. Okay. And the clothes pole, I, I take it you're just going to be like jackets, nothing yep. really long. Exactly. That's good because we'll be coming up off the floor. So. Right. All right. Well, I have some material with me. We can get set up in the backyard and do some cutting. Sounds good. All right, Julia, we've got our measurements and our drawing to go by. I've actually picked up some stock. I've got some half inch and three quarter inch paint grade plywood. Okay. All right. The first thing I want to do is I want to rip the height for our drawers. To do that, we'll cut two six inch strips out of the half inch plywood. Once cut to the proper length, they will make up the two sides, a front and a back for both drawers. At the corners of the drawers, we're going to use box joints. So I'm going to use a jig on my table saw along with a quarter inch stack dado to cut the pins. All right, our pins are cut for the corners of the box joints. Now what we have to do is put a dado across the bottom to receive the bottom of the draw. We're gonna do that in two passes for each draw piece. All right, so what we've done here is we've taped three pieces together, two fronts and one template. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the hand slot right here at the top of each draw. But we're going to cut both draws at the same time. All right, with the router and a templating bit, this bearing right here, is going to follow our template. We're going to fine tune that. We'll have to probably do it in about two or three passes. You're moving the sander at a slow speed. When you sand it too fast, you actually create rings. Mm -hmm. So by going slow, you get a better job. So the nice thing about these box joints is a lot more gluing surface than obviously if we just put it together straight. Mm -hmm. So they're really strong once that glue sets up. Okay, now we'll slide the bottom in. Okay. Once the bottom is slipped into position, we'll add the last piece of the draw and give it a good sanding. Now we can move on to the cabinet that will hold the draws. 
We'll cut two sides, the back and the top and bottom, out of a half inch piece of plywood. All right, so we've got our back, our top, our bottom, and two sides. Okay. To mount the draw runners, I made two parallel lines on each side of the cabinet to indicate the center of each runner. I use a centering punch to position the screws. I like that little tool. Yeah. That's very handy. It is critical that the runners on each side of the drawer line up perfectly. Now we can mount the inner portion of the runners to the sides of both drawers. You have your drawers with your hand slots. Yep. Able to pull them out. We'll great. put the piece on the top, the piece on the back, and then that's going to get covered with the shelf that your box will get set on on top for all your bins. Perfect. I love it. All right. All right, so we have all of our pieces that we need for the upper unit cut and ripped, but not to length yet. First thing we want to do is install this draw unit. You want to grab that side there? Yep. And we're going to slide it right in. Okay, good. Now you notice I made it a little bit narrower than the whole opening. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it over to the side like that. Give a little more room on this side because we have to think about the door. So when the door is on the hinges and it swings like that, it actually protrudes into the opening, the mm -hmm. thickness of the door. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that you can get that drawer open, whether the door comes out like this yep. or whether it opens like that. All right? Perfect. So now we're just going to level it in place and secure it. Great. Pretty good. This side could come up just a hair. Good there. Okay. Pretty good there. So now what I need to do is put a shim back so I can screw into the stud. All right, the back is in place. Okay, so now to fill the space between the cabinet and the door jam, I'm going to pick a piece of pine here. I'm going to hold it tight against the jam like that, push it in, and I'm going to scribe across the back right here against the cabinet. And I'm going to mark the height right there. And that's, that's our measurement here and here. Okay. We want that piece, and we'll cut it on the saw and install it. Great. All right, so now what we need to do is scribe a piece to go in here for our top. And I've cut a scrap piece of plywood, quarter inch, taken a piece of paper, take my framing square, mark across this. Keep the framing square tight to the wall. I'm going to use the narrow side of it on this end. Can't stress enough, you don't want this paper to move. I'll use the wide end here. Okay, so now we have our template on top of a piece of half inch plywood because we're gonna use that as our top. So I simply take the square and I put it on my mark. It go right across here, the outside. That should be the plaster wall right there. Mark that. Okay, so now, again, I'm going to use the narrow part on this side. Slide it down. Put it on the line. We'll use a track saw, set it at a slight bevel, so that the top will slide into position easier. Then we'll use a jigsaw to make more intricate cuts. Finally, we use a sander to smooth out all the edges. All right, let's see how it fits. 
Okay, pretty good. Time to move on to the cubbies. All right, so what we've done is we've placed our shelves on one of the sides, which is 70 inches long. Yep. And now this could be the top or the bottom because you wanted 12 inches inside. That's right. All right. Yep. And this again, top or bottom, that will be 12 inches inside. Mm -hmm. Then we divided that space equally in between each shelf. It ends up with 10 and a quarter. Perfect. All right. Yep. So you think that's good? I think this is great. I think we'll be able to fit a lot of stuff in here. All right. So this is how we're going to cut our data is we're going to use a router with a half inch bit and a templating guide right here. The templating guide will give us an offset and will sit in the jig that I made. Yep. So we'll make a couple of passes each way rather than take it out with one bit. Okay. All right, so now we're going to install our shelves into a dado, and we're going to fasten them to the sides using glue mm -hmm. and some brads. Just slide it in. Push it over tight to the corner. All right, I think that looks pretty good. You like it? I think that looks awesome. All right, I got a couple of screws to put in the corner, one on the bottom. Perfect. Above the clothes pole, we're going to put a shelf. Right. So I cut some one by four that's going to serve as two things. It's going to serve a place with the pole, but it's also going to have a, a cleat for the shelf to sit on. Okay, so I ran a level line around the wall here where our bottom of our cleat will go. We'll tack it in place. Try the clothes pole. All right. All right. There it is. What do you think? It's better than I even imagined. Thanks, Tommy. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.